Are you okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Please don't be afraid, okay? <laughs>
the Lord told me that there's something here. She really looked at my face and she was a member of the choir. She's a vocalist. If the lady see here, oh my God. She couldn't look at my eye. So after I said, stand up. We began to pray. She began to manifest. She ran out of the church. More than seven men follow her. She beat all of them. Beat them. I said, leave her. I have to call her back. So after I learned from hard time, you, you want to do ministry, you, you got to be careful. Don't think that because you, you've not seen some demon talk to you yet. Then one of the day, the second day before I go, she pretended that she has repented. To me and her and the pastor, the pastor left me and went out. I said, pastor, don't go anywhere. Stay here. <laughs> I said, no, 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 don't go. He said, no, just stay here. He said, apostle, prophet. I said, stay here. <laughs> because I know what I was dealing with is no human being. But Pastor didn't understand. Because the moment she entered, my body raised up. I, I begin to have erection. I said, What is this? No, I'm a spirit. I'm I'm a no. I know no, something's wrong. The pastor wanted to say, Pastor, please come back. Come back, sit here. Because this is not a human being. Oh, then she said, okay, apostle, I'm finished now. Just lay your hand. I said, I'm not laying hand on you. For me to feed that in my body. And I was not thinking about that at all. I know that this one, I'm not stupid. <laughs> I would have been killed. <laughs> he said, no, I'm ready. Now she kneel down. I said, no, you won't tell me what to do. I'm not laying hand on you. Because when she kneeled down, her head was snake. I saw the mouth of the snake waiting for my hand. So because I saw the snake... The mouth open. <laughs> Salava were coming. The pastor got the telephone call. He wanted to go. I said, Sir, I say, <laughs> I'm dealing with a, somebody from the sea. The pastor went and I went follow the pastor outside too. <laughs> hey, I'm, a, I'm an experienced preacher. I'm not, I didn't start today. I left the place. She said, Where are you going? Finish the delivery. You started before. Finish the deliver for me. And he said, if, you, if you're stupid, you believe that. I said, let's pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. Because I know what I was doing. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> I said, you are delivering Jesus' name. Amen. So when I left, I delivered a guy from a choir. One of the leaders of the choir is a man. I look at him. I saw the spirit of death. I cast it out. I didn't know what I was doing. I do a lot of deliverance in that place, in Napoli, in Italy. So I went back. I was in the airport. The pastor called me. Where are you? Where are you? I said, what happened? He said, that lady, she's 21 years old. He said, the lady is not a human being. I said, why? He said, the choir leader offended her. And she decided to leave the choir. But she made up my mind she's going to kill the guy. Because I saw the spirit of death on the guy. I didn't know why, but I cast it out. The guy was dead. So I didn't know that she had targeted the guy to kill because she wanted to marry the guy. After we finished, we went to the lady's house. Jesus. The moment we came towards the door, the Holy Ghost started praying. I began to pray. When we enter, I know her job. She was doing prostitution. She was a prostitute. I didn't know. So when I entered her house, I saw, you know, uh, no, no, your, your, what, what do you call it? This, the hair, no hair, right? The we. I have I saw more than 1,000. In her house, so many weed. I said, How she didn't want to tell me the, so many weed, so the whole house filled with it. And then I saw, um, Nicholas everywhere. I said, Where do you get one? He said, I brought them from the sea. That anyone that uses it, we can control that person. See, I said, Most members in the church are using my necklace, I use my wig. So I saw a lot of them in the room. I said, are you saying, he said, say, I brought them from the sea. He said, um, actually, they are not only weed. Most of them are snake. But you can't see them until I touch them. I said, man, can we go now? I said, can we? I said, I put anointing oil. Father, in the name. I said, man, go. He said, I said, I am gone. Meet me in the car out. I'm not stupid. You can't deliver someone that doesn't want to be delivered. I know this for so long. Oh, let's deliver her. I said, man of God, 
you can do the deliver. <laughs> you can do deliver. But I'm in the car with me. Because I don't, don't come here to die. Amen. I left my church in London, come here to help. Because I know the lady wasn't going to deliver. He said, deliver me here now. Man of God, she's ready. I said, you deliver. It's your member. It's your congregation, okay? You made me inside the car. I was, because I know she wasn't willing to deliver. Because while I was in the room, I was hearing... Under the bed, everywhere I said, Man of God, I'm God bless you, do your work because I know she was not willing to be delivered. I don't want to be so ignorant and say, Fire, which fire? I am in a territory when because this one is my territory. Oh no, I was my territory here, so I know the, she killed her father, killed the mother, killed the brother, and killed everybody, and then she died. She went back again to the sea. And then she was born again in another in another family to give back to her again. But this time around, they told her she had to stay till the age of 21. It was at the age of 21 that I came. They expected her to go back because I came. After the deliverer, I cut off the, her umbilical cord that would connect her back to the sea so she couldn't go back. So they were very happy because I destroyed it. He said, after he left, I left. She said she was going to kill the guy and then suddenly she turned to snake. From here down the snake. Then she told the pastor everything. He said, as I'm talking to you now, my body is a snake. The pastor told me that he was hearing the breath of a snake. He was hearing the tail. You know the tail so rustling around the whole, the whole room. The pastor said, they said, pastor, come here quickly. The pastor, I'm not coming. He said, Pastor, come here quickly. The pastor said, I'm not good. I will deliver you two phones. He said, No, he said, It's big. I said, I will not. The pastor said, He and his wife prayed and prayed and prayed for more than how many hours before she was delivered. She wasn't a human being, but she was a member of the choir. She spoke in tongue. How do I know? Before, when, for the first time I was going to go and preach, I was so attacked. I said, Do you know? I was in the plane, I was shivering. I said, I'm going to preach. I was attacked. I said, why am I so sick? I never know that. They knew that I was coming. But it was that is pain. I, I've never had it anywhere. She lived in Sawa, the sea. And then the lady showed me some of the things she used in the sea. I'll give it to the people. And we'll tell you. Why? So that you know your environment. I didn't say she didn't go to the beach or to the sea. But know why? Your environment. I didn't say every hair is from the sea. Listen to me. I never said that. If I look around, some of you are using it. No, I'm serious. Some of you are using it. But you will never know.